Hello everyone, welcome back to Resident Evil Village. Uh, we arrived at this sort of altar area here and we have a few different directions we could head into now. Uh, the first one over here is a doorway with four wings on it. The other one over there is also a doorway with four wings on it. But if you check our map, one of them says four winged unborn and the other one says four winged key. And the one I think that we can go through is just called winged key. So judging by how that's worded, I think this little key that we have in our inventory uh, this one, winged key, a key decorated with a bird, its wings unfurled. Uh, I think we're going to have to upgrade this key somehow. I'm not sure how, but it seems like that might be what we have to do in the future. So now let's open the door that we can. And continue on back down to the village. Uh, what are we going to do here? Cut it. Oh, interesting. I only just noticed that if the uh, if the ammunition number is blue, it means that it's already been completely reloaded. So what can we do here? Is there anything that's different? You could check out this house. As far as I can remember, I think there was a locked drawer in here that needed to be picked. And I think we have some, uh, here we go, some lock picks, shotgun ammo, wow, did that give me seven? That's nice, that is some decent shotgun ammo. Okay, so where could we go? We could head over through here and go back to the church. Oh, what the? What is this? Arrived at site, no sign of EW or RW. Oh, okay, so that's wife and daughter, I think. Infiltrated village, engaged with number of bioweapons, found evidence of EW, RW, location unknown, established base in church, plan of operations, search, lo search laboratory, analyze mold samples, infiltrate factory. What the... How freaky is that? Let's save it again. Someone's like following us. Oh, can we open this door now? Hang on, if we look at the map, what does it say? Iron insignia. So hang on. Here we go. We are in. Oh, can we kill these as well? Poultry. <laughs> nice. There we go. Some more poultry. We'll grab whatever's in this box. Wow, man, we're getting a lot of shotgun ammo now. Nice. It's locked from the other side. Huh. So it was the only reason to go in here to kill the chickens? Really? <laughs> Doesn't seem like there's... Oh! Another one of you? I probably should try just hitting that with a knife here to save my ammunition. Hmm, but apart from that, it doesn't look like there's anything else here. So may as well head back to town. Hmm, what else we got? 
Locked from the other side? Oh, could we go in here before? Oh my god. Oh wow, that was a jump scare and a half. What was that? I can't remember if we've been in here or not. Oh, we need another lockpick for that. Damn. Lockpicks are so few and far between. Wooden animal body. Anything else here? Rusted scraps, okay. Grab the shotgun, because I do not think... We gotta pull this out of the way, okay. See you, mate. <laughs> Dead bloke. Alright, I think there was another door we could have gone down through here, right? Hang on. Here, unlock this. There we go. It's going to make it easy to come through here later. May as well have a look in here. Nothing special. Oh, I remember this, actually. Needs another item. I remember coming through here, like, towards the start of the game. What is this doing here? I have no idea. Alright, let's, uh, let's take a look around. Yeah, I definitely remember all this. Oh, here we go. I'm not sure if we had a knife when we came past here last time. A little bit of lay. Thank you. What is that? Like some sort of device strapped to someone's... Someone's back, like Frankenstein. Oh. Uh, I have no idea what that would be. Hmm. Does this picture give some sort of a hint? Look out the window. Which window? At uh, this window? Oh, here. Oh my god. Come on, mate. Metal scrap. So that was a 07. And there's a 08 over there. And a 04. So let's guess it's going to be 070408. 07. 04. And zero eight. Are we good? Brilliant. Oh, what is that? A new weapon. An M1911. M1911. Wow, nice. And a jack handle. Oh, this is gonna be to uh to push up the, the tractor over there, what we saw. Okay. So do we have two different guns now? Two different pistols? We do. A fully automatic handgun. I mean, I don't really want to be wasting it, do I? Uh oh. Oh, there he is. I was going to say, I swear I heard something. Oh, a headshot. Oh, whoops.
Okay, not bad, not bad. Man, we got some weapons now. I actually feel really strong against these guys now. Okay. Got to be careful with my sniper ammo though. It's really few and far between. Oh, there's a herb somewhere. Hang on. It keeps telling me there's a herb. Oh, I don't know. All right, let's just uh, put this jack handle on. And we might be able to travel underneath the tractor now. Did something jump on the tractor? Oh, what's, what's that arrow telling me? Oh, there's a herb on top of the shed. That's what I was missing. I was wondering where it was telling me to go. Oh, I can hear them. Oh, look at this ugly clown. Oh, we got a few of them, I think, actually. Completely missed him. You know what? Let's just use our gun. Oh no. He actually went down. Alright, cool. More chem fluid. Always nice. Let's see if we can do some crafting. We can. We can get two of those. We shall do that. A little bit more handgun. Okay, some shotgun ammo. Cool. Oh, we got two here. Hang on. We'll get this guy first. Good. Okay. I mean, that sniper, if you hit him in the right spot, it is so nice. Oh, God. Oh, my God, what is that? Uh, I think we need a better weapon. Let us use a pipe bomb, maybe? Or a mine? Use a pipe bomb. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you're kidding me. Is this a joke? This guy's not going down. Alright, come for a shotty. Don't get up, mate. Thank you. Perfect crystal skull. Oh my god, that guy can take a beating. Pipe bomb plus a shotgun to the face. Oh, another one. Okay, practical. Use one and get one. Probably best to reload everything while I'm in the open. While there's nothing going on. Uh, can we get through there? We have to check the map to see what it is. Oh, hang on, over here. Iron Insignia. We can actually get through there. Unlocked it. Okay, we'll just double check if there's anything else laying around. Before we progress. Oh, but the question is, which way are we actually meant to go? Oh, we'll check over here first, actually. Oh, a well wheel. Oh, that's sweet. Now we can... We can put this on all the wells, maybe? Oh, 
Because we've been getting that message so often. Oh, I hear some chickens. I don't know where. But that'd be nice to get some more food. Although we haven't really been able to use it yet. I'm not exactly sure what we do with the food. Alright, head over this way. What does this say? Locked due to missing homeowner. Well, we got it open now. To whom are my concerns? Due to the leather's long absence, I am keeping hold of his house key. Please find me if you need it. Joseph Simon. The gardener. Uh, well, we don't actually have a key. Hmm. So where would the gardener have died? Probably in the garden shed? I would assume. That was so predictable. Oh, I blocked at the wrong time there. There we go. Madalena body. Mate, what do I need all this weird stuff for? Apart from that, that doesn't really look like there's much else here. Hmm, okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to progress from here. Alright. Oh, oh, here are the chickens, just in this yard here. Oh, look at this. This is the house with the chimney as well, the red chimney that everyone's been talking about. Okay. So I'll take that meat. Thank you very much. The poultry meat. Large crystal. Not much else is going on here. Oh, we can get out here. Oh, we can. Oh, this is like a different way to get in because the door would have been locked from the outside. Yeah, true. Okay, so it's just like a shortcut to get back to the red chimney place. We'll unlock this as well. This takes us back to the main area. Cool. So we pretty much unlocked this whole area now. That's nice. Grab a little bit more poultry. And let's enter. Mate, I see nothing. Okay, so it's not as simple as I thought it would be to get in here. Oh, here we go. Ladder. You got company. go. I think it's pretty easy to take out those guys with just one shotgun shot and then follow it up with whatever. Huh. Nothing down there. Got to be a thorough here. So we got a box and we got a note. Sacrificed two goats to Mother Miranda. Offered wool to Mother Miranda. She instructed I find her a list of drugs and tools 
in the next few days. No messages. Livestock won't stop their ruckus. I was instructed to take the items to the cave church at sunrise, but what I saw was frightful. The great four lords were there, and Mother Miranda was holding a child. She whispered something and touched the child. I can't explain it well, but the child turned into a white crystal. Then, then she... I couldn't help but speak up, and I asked why she was doing such a thing. She smiled at me. This is the chosen child. She will return her original form no matter what befalls her. Then she gave each lord a part of the crystal in a flask, and they left. I forgot to bow to Mother Miranda before I fled. I'm still shaking. What did she do? What is that child? Freaky. And what is this? The wing key is just a single piece. Three more parts are needed to make it whole. Yeah, we sort of figured that, actually. Because there's a few different doors that need to be unlocked. Oh, three more parts. Wow. Combined with the wing key. Four wing key. Oh, here we Damn go. It. Better see the Duke again. Yeah, that's cool. Because now we can unlock those doors uh, next to the altar that we couldn't before. A little bit more ammo. Alright. Um, I mean, as far as I can tell, there's not much left to do here. Apart from go back to the Duke. Mr. Dukey boy, wherever he was chilling, I think. I can't go this way because that led back to the castle, right? I think I came from there. No. Hang on. Yeah, I can't go that way any anymore because the, the bridge has been... Has been raised. Hang on, let's look at the map. How do we get back to... Here it is, over this way. Oh, okay. So we gotta go... Up here. Back to the Duke. How was it? Did you learn anything? I found these feathers. Now tell me how to fix this like you said you would. Settle down. First you must use that key and collect all of your little roses flasks. Where are the rest of them? There are four in total. You have the one, and the other lords have the rest. Lords? Mother Miranda is the cold, calculating ruler of this village. Four lords serve under her. The first you've already met, the Lady Demitresque. The second lives deep in a valley of mist, the dollmaker, Donna Beneviento. None of her playmates have ever come back from that dank old estate. The third is Moreau. A being of twisted flesh that lives in the reservoir past the windmills. It is said that he is not the only monster that lives in those waters. The fourth and most dangerous is Heisenberg. He works in his factory on the village outskirts. And the project. Let's just say parts of the human imagination are better left alone. Oh, wow, that's freaky. Water wheel weapon? Maestro's collection? Wow, that unlocked a lot of different things, didn't it? Louisa's heirloom? Huh. So we can make our way down here to Moreau, or we can make our way up... Oh, that's right, she's been taken out, so that's one we've dealt with. We could make our way over that way. But I think... Four-winged unborn and just four-winged key. Yeah, so we can only unlock this door for now. Which makes me believe that we're going to head up to this over here. Benevent... Bene... What is that? Benevento, the doll maker. She seems like the next... The next direction. If you truly wish to save your daughter, you must first gather the four flasks. I'll do you a personal favor. I've marked the Lord's locations on your map. Some treasures still lurk in this village. I'm sure each one will prove of great use to you. Why are you doing all this? 
Why, it's all part of our first-class customer service. Please do come again soon. Welcome, Ethan. Ah, yes, I have you. Find some quality ingredients and bring them to me. Ah, here we go. The Duke's Kitchen. You cook, you kill it, we'll cook it. So we've actually got everything for this. Health slightly increases per permanently. Oh, baby. Damage taken when guarding decreases. Health increases permanently. Health greatly increases permanently. A juicy game. And meat. Oh, man. This is awesome. Movement speed increases. Damage taken while guarding. Well, let's do this one for now. Don't let up. We've gathered all the ingredients. Now. Finished. I'd love for you to enjoy as well. Awesome. Yeah, now it just says completed, so you can't do it again. To think Health such a dish could be had in this winterbound frontier. So what do we need now? We need more meat and a little bit more poultry if we can get it. And it looks like if we check out our map, it looks like the poultry that we've already collected Food is, is just gone. So you can only collect it once. Huh. Okay. Let's get rid of some of our treasure here. Dissatisfied? I believe this is a fair price. Anything fancy we can get here? Reduces weapon sway. A mine. Let's grab that. Oh, sniper rifle is super pimped out right now. It's actually really nice. We can't get any more ammo. Okay. <laughs> Have a wonderful adventure. Pretty much seems like everything we can upgrade for now. If we really want to, we can go back to town and start adventuring around and having a look at some of these areas where we can get some treasure. But I think I might do that on my next visit to the castle. And we're going to go progress now uh, in this direction, I think. I think it's this way. With the four-winged key. And head on over to the doll maker. Here we come. Man, this is such a creepy game. It's absolutely ridiculous. Oh yeah, it has already begun. Can I take out the birds? I can. I like it. Oh no, that's just lay. Okay, I thought it was going to give me some sort of meat that we could use to cook, but apparently not. So here we can go left or right. What does our map say? Our map says right's a dead end, so we'll see if we can find something laying around. Oh no. Wait, it just comes back up here? Huh, strange. Can't read that, okay. Oh, mate. Man, this is so sketchy. Ethan. What? Ethan, come with me. There's something I have to tell you. Mia? What's going on? It's definitely hallucinating. Either that or the puppet master is made like some sort of clone. Can't go through there. What does our map say? Red. Okay. Probably means we have to unlock it from the others. Ethan, you have to fix her. What the hell is this? Everyone leaves me. Even Rose. I don't want to be alone. 
This can't be real. Ah, uh, Benevid. Benevento, 1987 to 1996. Wait, how old was she? She was nine. Freed from the binds of flesh, she now walks the valley of death. Oh, man. Am I losing it? Oh, is there something? Give up your memories. Oh, our, our family photo. What's going on? So freaky. We're gonna come up on here. Oh, here we go. Reach the top. Oh, I'm so happy that we're going back outside there. Wow. Wow, the scenery in this game is just really surreal, though. Looks so nice. Oh, here we go. Oh, we've already arrived. How's Benevento? Yeah, here we are. We're already all the way over here. Some stuff on the balcony here. Oh! Look at this. Another goat. I have no idea how many of those there are all together, or how many we're meant to collect, but I guess if I find them, I'll, I'll shoot them. Very quiet. Huh, doesn't look like there's really anything on here, to be honest. We could have gone upstairs. Uh, I don't know. Well, we can't go through here. Huh. Okay. Well then, let's be on our way. Mate, there is no way I would ever go down <laughs> in an elevator like this. Such a creepy house. Go here. Huh, doesn't really seem like there's anything of interest. Unless I'm missing something. So far. Hmm. I 
Can't go in there. Oh man, the lack of lack of noises almost makes it seem creepier than monsters. What? The f oh my god, is that the second body part? What? Wait, where's my gun? Oh, everything. Everything's gone. You're kidding. Oh, wait, what? What am I meant to do? Remove it? Silver key. I think that's everything we need to do with her arm. So we got a silver key. To cut them, okay. Oh, we don't have a knife now. Yeah, true. Remove ring. Blood-covered ring. Still no knife, though, unfortunately, to remove these bandages. I have no idea what the hell I'm meant to be doing here, though. Oh, here we go. We can look at the mouth as well. I need some kind of tool to get it. Oh, really? Can't I just pull it out? Oh look, this, this lady on here, it's meant to be her, his wife, look at that. Is this a doll of Mia? Of Mia, yeah. Surely there's got to be something. Oh, here we go. You got to twist it the right way. Wait, what was that? Can we examine that a little bit better? Like symbols. Oh god, man, this is so confusing. Oh, look, it's... Oh, yes, thank you, a save point. Okay. So we're going to have a look at this, I think, in the next episode, everyone. This is where we're going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying Resident Evil Village. We're going to pick it up from here and see if we can solve this mystery doll-like puzzle thing. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.